we have got two short, sharp exercises that are gonna help you turn better in the golf swing. We do. Absolute key for power, consistency, and just generally enjoying your golf, as well as a bonus tip at the end. Now, I know I do this, and that's probably similar. Get towards the end of the round, you're tired. Yeah. Guilty of not doing something. We're gonna give you the reasons why you're fatiguing towards the end of the round as well for the bonus tip. So make sure you stick around to the end. So now, exercise number one. Yeah, exercise number one. This is a nice one just to open up the chest cavity, the shoulders, and get some rotation in. So again, you need a prop, ideally you can use your driver, just make sure you don't put too much pressure and bend it in half. Okay. It. So ideally, a bit of wood, wooden dowling, something like that. Relatively long, so we want to try and get the arms the whole way across mm -hmm. this. So all we're going to do is take the wood onto the shoulder blades, and you can let your arms rest across this. We don't need to use a full grip for this one. Bend yourself slightly forwards, and you're just going to rotate. So in, with my arms in this position, I've sort of opened my chest and my shoulders. I can feel the stretch. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is just turn naturally and get my rib cage moving like this. With the arms extended, it just gives a little bit more stretch, a bit more rotation. And it's just a nice, easy one that you can use as a warm-up. And if you haven't got any wood, you can actually just use a resistance band behind you. Okay, and that would be the same thing. So, just briefly, I know this is our short, sharp exercises. What are people looking for in terms of the backswing? From yeah. a physical point of view. From a physical point of view, what we're looking for is to maintain the spinal angle. So we're trying to avoid this lift where we may come into like a flat posture mm -hmm. or any kind of reverse spinal angle where we're going towards the target as opposed to rotating mm -hmm. through our central point. So all this does is just open out the areas that typically get tight. So middle of the rib cage, chest and shoulders, shoulders. where people may find themselves hunched over, restricting their turn. Because in terms of opening the shoulders up, we spoke about before, about actually allowing us to complete the backswing as well. Correct. So it just gives you a bit more range. And you know, with a prop, I think sometimes it helps because you can start to feel, can I go further? You know, when you're resting your arms on this position here, well, if I only went there, I can see the end of the pole that I haven't fully turned. If I start to move a little bit further, I can see all of a sudden my hand yeah. in my body. So it just gives me a little bit of feedback to work with. Cool. That's exercise number one. This is exercise number two. Exercise number two. Cross my chest, stand up. Yeah, cross the chest, stand, please, in posture. So all we're gonna do, Alex, is just rotate left and right and try and get that shoulder underneath. So you can see as the golfer that the, the stick is pointing yeah. towards the ground. So this is gonna get you a little bit of rib cage rotation trying to engage the glutes a little bit. And what we're trying to do is stop any sort of excess lift of that stick coming out of posture, posture. that way. Because I, I see it all the time when somebody comes to a lesson. Very much like this. That's it. Very much moving over. It's very hard for then a golfer to understand, right, okay, how do I get it to go under and then hit a shot? Exactly. And sometimes it's the sensation that you're missing. Yeah. There's a little bit of feedback through a stick or through a driver or through a long iron. This will really help you just get that motion understand you can look straight down the line of the stick and you can go right okay am i into the spinal angle or yeah i'm lifted out of the spinal angle and would you do this like because obviously golf is played two ways would you even if you're right-handed would you rotate into your left side as well and yeah repeat? i want for this drill because what it does is it just gets some movement through the trunk nicely and it stretches out the side of the obliques and a little bit of the abs that can be typically quite stiff and prevent yeah. people's ribs moving properly so even though we know as a right-handed golfer we wouldn't be in this position of impact for the purposes of the exercise yeah. it's just a good movement for the body to do so however many reps 10 each side 10 each side and nice and I, and I think this is the kind of stuff you could do in the morning when you wake up yeah, just to get you in a position or potentially before going out for a round exactly this is one of those kettle drills that we spoke about earlier on a couple yeah. weeks back your biggest bang for your book exercise where you can pop the kettle on in the morning it takes you two minutes by the time the kettle's boiled bang you're done I've used that term a lot yeah <laughs> I have <laughs> I have okay so we promised you at the end of the video a bit of a bonus part about why you're fatiguing towards the end of the round so let's hear it from you because I would just say get fit yeah. <laughs> or make I mean, in summary we could just call yeah. You probably have a pint on the neck yeah. somewhere, halfway, that's probably not doing you any justice. Now, sometimes that's all right. And sometimes, but... <laughs> I'll think it's allowed. don't worry, I do it as well. But it's when you're playing like your captain's weekend or that's your it. president's weekend or club champs, whatever it is, yeah. you've got to prepare, right? Yeah, if you're in one of those tournaments where you think, you know, I'd really like to do well this weekend, I really want to get my handicap down, I've been playing well, I'm trying to get in towards the end of the season, maybe want to knock a few more shots off. 
if you're struggling towards, typically for most golfers, 13, 14, 15, you feel the legs get a bit heavy, maybe the swing gets a bit shorter where you feel like you're not moving as well. Again, it can be for numerous reasons, it can be something physical, but a lot of the time it's down to poor nutrition and poor nutrition on the golf course, which has not helped you get over the line towards the end. So, of the what would you recommend that most golfers should have it in their bag? Now, I'd say water straight away. Water's got to be number one. Hydration is key. Um, I, I can't remember the exact stat, but something for like every one percent you're dehydrated, you lose roughly like ten percent worth of concentration. Wow. Don't <laughs> quote me on that, but it's something extreme yeah, yeah. along those lines. Yeah, someone's going to comment on that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's eleven point five. <laughs> Uh, that's true but again water is key for the golf bag especially on a hot day yeah. obviously we're going to dehydrate much quicker than in cooler weather but water is, is always really important for the bag so that has to be number one secondly you're looking for an energy source that's sustainable and what we mean by that is that it doesn't spike and dip the blood sugar in, in extremes so if you're having something like a Mars bar it's made of roughly pure sugar it gets digested and processed by the body really quickly it gives you a really high energy spike and a really low energy dip once it's been utilized quickly by the body so we're looking for things like um, I know it sounds a bit random but like meats cooked meats is always a good one for the golf bit of corned beef a bit of beef I love a bit of bit of beef jerky that's probably yeah. a good one it's dry meat you can get a packet for it yeah Nuts, they're always nice. Things like protein bars work really well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, protein flapjacks, they tend to be made of better quality ingredients than things like Kit Kats and Twixes and the stuff that we, we want um, to eat. Yeah. We shouldn't. I mean, most people literally will go to the pro shop and go, yeah. kind of coke. Yeah. Nature Valley bar, right? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that's the absolute yeah, yeah, yeah. traditional, it's a classic. Um, but uh, yeah, in those circumstances, you, there's better choices you can make. There's brands out there like Max Golf Protein, they make some really good yeah, products yeah. now. Now you see them in a lot of pro shops, they're going to be a better option to choose on the counter than your, your Blue Power Aid and a Mars bar. Well, there you go. There's two exercises to help you turn your golf swing, as well as a bonus to stop fatiguing out on the golf course and how exactly you can do that. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, well, don't forget to smash that big red subscribe button, as well as check that out and all the stuff that she does. Remember, you can get tailored plans to help your golf swing. The link to that is down below. Thanks so much, Nat. You're welcome. See you next week for some more fitness for your golf swing.